Well, hello guys. Welcome to episode five of this war of mine. This is the uh, where we're trying to keep these three lovely people alive in this little house that we've got. Uh, that we will show you in a second. So um, we're in some mythical um, war zone uh, in a fictional city. Basically, there will be a ceasefire at some point, but we've got to keep everyone alive for as long as possible. And uh, we've got three guys in in this house. I've got Annika, who's just been out. And she needs to go and have a sleep. We have got R Bruno, who's a cook, but we've got no food. And we've got Roman, who is trained in combat, and he's also knackered. So Bruno is hungry, but he's not tired. Um, Arika. No. Oops, sorry, mate. No, you bugger off. I'm clicking everything. You can come out here, there we go. And you go to bed. Right, Arika is gonna sleep. And what we're gonna do first off the bat is to try and put some boardings in the uh, So it's 10 out of the 16 um, bits of wood that we brought back. We are, are gonna be able to use and also two out of the, uh, the components that we brought back. So that's good, that is really, really good. So we're gonna make those and off he goes and he's hopefully gonna block out this, this massive hole here, which would be useful. I didn't say, it. I think that's only gonna take an hour, so that's pretty nice. Um, which is gonna help us no end, uh, I think. It's just gonna mean that we're less likely to be robbed again. Obviously we've got issues with food because we've got no food. Um, I'm hoping that someone might turn up on the doorstep. We've just been raided as well, but we managed to... Oh. Yeah, day six is exactly the same information as day five. We've got animals around the street. So I wonder if I can... Oh, there we go. I mean, it doesn't look the most secure uh, thing that's ever been done, but uh, at least there it is. We walk out here. It goes far as this. Don't know how far you can go. Hello. That's all you got. I was hoping to find something out there, but... It's, it all looks a bit better now. So let's think about what the next thing that we are going to try and do here. So we've got that boarded up. Uh, what? You, you mate can go down there. You mate can go here. So we can make a crowbar, which would be useful. Uh, we would need 10 out of the 11 components. So that's something to consider. What else have we got? No, 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 you stay here. You stay here. You, come here. An armchair. Not seeing that as being the most useful use of our, uh, our resources, but it's pretty much the only thing we can do. We can grab some more water as well. Um, this is what we've got. You can see we've got our equipment there. Crowbar might be a useful thing to do. Um, and that would rinse our components. We do get four in each slot. I think maybe we might be able to use that um, on a raid next time. Well, not on a raid, but let's do that. Let's make that crowbar. Isn't not the most ideal thing in the world. And you, uh, no, we can't do that. So what is this? It's just fuel. Right, I did, I'd love to have someone come into the door, please, just about now. I could do with that. We absolutely have to get food now. For in the next raid, we have to get food. Enough for everybody. Whether we'll make that, I don't know. You've rested. You can go up there. You, mate, can go to sleep. And we have we have a crowbar now, which is pretty good. Um, and we. 
can't do anything more there. We can't go out the back. Um, so I think we end the day there. Okay. Got some big decisions to go forward. Uh, so they're all hungry, but nobody's tired. So the shelled school. That's where we just were. Uh, but we couldn't access, unfortunately, the area that, that had the information in all this stuff in there. So that's not what we want. Didn't see any huge amount of food. Uh, ruined villa. I wonder whether we actually go to this. I think we have to at this point. So who's going to sleep? Bruno, you are going to sleep. You are going to guard. And Arika, you are going to go in. And we're going to take the crowbar. And where you're going to go. This might not be a good idea. It may be a terrible idea, in fact. Hopefully, um, we can sneak in there. And she is the sneaky one. So uh, maybe, maybe we'll get in there. So what we have here is a someone's house. Oh wow! Well, that's that's important. Straight away, we've got some tuna. We've got some, and we might maybe even take that along with us. This is great start. So why didn't I come here right at the beginning? <laughs> Nothing there. Now I know there's going to be someone in the house. Though not, we'll take a bit of wood with us as well for now. We'll probably drop some of this stuff. We'll have a look through. And here, there in the living room. Ah, oh, dear me. And we're gonna, oh, we're gonna nick us. That's just terrible. Ooh. Not a teddy bear. What are you going to do? Oh, this is just going to be... No, I'm not going to kill you, mate, but I apologise. Are you coming down here? <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? Ah, oh. I'm not going to hurt your wife. What you got in here? I need food. To be fair, is that where your food is? Oh, this is how oh, this is horrible, isn't it? It's absolutely horrible. I don't want to do this, but we've got no choice. We have to go into the food. I haven't killed your husband. Right, we've got food. We're not going to take everything. I'll leave them in the water. We'll even take the canned goods. No. Wait, stop following me. We'll, have a, we'll open, open up some doors and see what we can do. Oh crap, is he going to get a gun or something? I think he might have gone and got a gun. <laughs> right. <laughs> not... Oh dear. Right. Well, at least we got. At least we got some stuff. Right. I, I don't really want that. Um. Come on. What have we got else in here?
and then we're going to run out if we can. It's just horrible, isn't it? We're not going to have to come back for more of it as well. Um, more of them. What's that? Roll up cigarettes. I don't really care about cigarettes too much. I don't know that the, the guys care about them that much. Well, another component, we'll, do, we'll take that. A letter from Grandpa Bernard. We're happy to learn that you've come to like living with Auntie. The war is not that bad, it's just not fun for children. In fact, they say it'll soon be over, so don't worry about us. Grandpa is feeling better. She asked me not to tell you, but she's saving some flour to make you those cookies we like. Right, well. We'll run to the door, I think, just in case he has got a shotgun. Oh, that's, that's it, isn't it? Can we take two of these? Two teddy bears, nice. Right then, let's see what we've got here. So we've got two of those meds, crowbar that's seen better days, I guess. A bit of wood would be. You do know how to reach that place. You've just been there, mate. I mean, should we go through this door? Just might as well see what they've got up here. Can I get out the door? The bathroom, of course. Where you keep all the good stuff. Two lots of meds. Bandages. I think we will replace the. Uh, I think that, that's good. Right. On that note, we will make a, a hasty exit and see if we can get out without him shooting us up the arse. Well. I mean, I don't think she's going to feel good about that. I have a feeling that, but I, I, I had no choice really. We needed the food. So uh, it is what it is. Right then, guys. Well, we, we survived <laughs> today seven. I, uh, and we will be leaving you guys there. We'll just have a look whether we got robbed. night was quiet nice I mean look at all that food we bought all sorts of goodies back for everyone a little bit in the way of components and stuff but we can go on a component and wood hunt tomorrow I think we'll go back out to the uh, forget where was it the uh, was it the abandoned I don't know apartment block or whatever but what we have got here is 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 some good stuff in case we do get injured and, and and those sort of things so that is really really successful yeah let let me know what you would do with this i mean it's just heartbreaking that you're sort of nicking all the stuff from grandma and grandpa uh, which undoubtedly will mean they will they will perish because they don't have any any way of getting more stuff so that's not great is it but we have to survive and uh, that's the name of the game so that's what we're trying to do Anyway guys, let me know down in the comments uh, what uh, what my next priority should be. Um, if you uh, are enjoying this series, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are new. And I will see you next time when we do a bit of cooking and make everyone happy because they can eat again. Thank you very much. Goodbye.